In this example, we have a project with three toolpaths already created. The third toolpath I have has a set of values such as tolerance and step over that I wish to apply to the first two toolpaths. However, I do not want to have to go into each toolpath settings page and apply the values one by one. I can add these values to multiple toolpaths at once using a tool called set name parameters. To do this, first of all, make sure that the toolpath that I want to grab the values from is active. I then select the two toolpaths that I wish to apply the values to, right click, go to edit, and then set name parameter. A dialog box will open where I now enter the name of the value that I wish to apply. So if I begin typing tolerance, we can see that we are prompted for the correct syntax to use. So I just click on that, hit apply, Paramil will tell us that this will invalidate the toolpaths. That is because we will need to recalculate them with the new tolerance value, which is fine. If I right click again, open up the set name parameter dialog, I can now apply the same tool that I have in my third toolpath. So if I type in tool, we will see a list of options starting with tool that I can apply. If I select tool, we can see that there's a full stop at the end. This means that we can select individual settings related to the tool and apply them. However, I just wish to apply the tool and all of the same settings. So if I just remove this full stop and then hit apply, the first two toolpaths will now use the 8mm ball nose tool. A third setting I wish to apply is the step over. Again, I just begin typing it in. I can finish typing if I know the correct syntax or the value, or else I can just select it from the list again. And then finally, I wish to apply the same leads and links. So if I go into set name parameter, I'm going to use a value called connections. Connections will give me the option to choose any lead in, lead out, or extension value, etc. from the leads and links form. If I want to just apply everything at once, I just remove the full stop and then apply. All that's left to do now is to calculate the two toolpaths with the new settings. If you would like to see a list of parameters and the syntax used for them, it can be easily accessed through the help menu under parameters, and then you can choose reference, which contains detailed information of the parameters and summary, which contains the basic information you need with a little description. If you want to find a particular value, such as lead in, I can just hit Control F. I will open up the find function, and then I just type in lead. That will highlight any occurrences of lead in the form. To get back to your Paramil Explorer, you just hit this button here.